Hello friends, we are in JE Cloud and this is your Cloud Mentor Gavirish. So, the today's topic is sequences and series from mathematics. And let's move on. Let's look at the milestones in this chapter. Yes. Yes, uh, we are going to study sequences, series, progression, ma uh, arithmetic progression, insertion of arithmetic mean between two numbers, uh, geometric progression, insertion of geometric mean between two numbers, uh, harmonic progression, insertion of harmonic mean between two numbers, relation among arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and geometric arithmetic or geometric progression to find end the term by difference method and also the at last sum of n terms of uh, special series uh, uh, this uh, uh, sum of number n n n square and n cube and such type of things so let's <coughs> uh, move on yes what is the sequence here what do you mean by the sequence and what, what is this what is that is yes, a set of numbers arranged in a definite order according to some definite rule is called a sequence okay a set of numbers arranged in a definite order according to uh, some definite rule that is the sequence or a sequence is a function from natural number n which is domain to the real number which is the core domain so for example uh, 2 4 uh, 2 4 for example 2 4 2 4 6 8 etc is a sequence and now series what do you mean by series series if a1 a2 if a1 a2 a1 a2 a3 etc a n is a sequence then expression a1 plus a1 plus a2 a2 plus a3 plus etc up to a n is called the series the series is said to be finite or infinite according as the given series is finite or given sequence is uh, finite or infinite okay for example the series uh, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus s up to 20 okay it's a finite series here it is a finite series this limit there is a limit for the number in numbers in the series okay and if we write like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc up to uh, or etc and so on this is a type of infinite series there is no end for the series it is this is infinite series okay okay now the next term is the progression what is the progression it is not necessary that the terms of a sequence always follow a certain pattern or they are described by some um, explicit formula for the nth term those sequences whose terms follow certain patterns are called progression that is those sequences whose terms follow certain patterns are called the progression okay or if the terms of a sequence are written under specific conditions then the sequence is called progression okay under specific conditions now let's look at the progressions which is important for us so first one it is arithmetic progression arithmetic progression a sequence is said to be an arithmetic progression if the difference of a term and its previous term is always same that is if a n plus one it's a n plus one a n plus one minus a n is equal to constant is equal to constant that is must be uh, maybe it is equal to d okay for all n element of n n element of n 
then it is called the arithmetic progression the constant difference generally denoted by d is called the common difference d is called the common difference and uh, or an arithmetic progression is a sequence whose terms increase or decrease by a fixed number and this fixed number is called the common difference of the arithmetic progression or, or ap okay in other words if a1 a2 if a1 a2 a3 etc up to an are in ap then a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 a3 minus a2 that's equal to etc uh, like that it uh, um extends like that and is equal to a n generally a n minus a n minus one all are equal to a common difference that is d okay if a is the first term if a is the first term and d is the common difference then a p can be written as uh, a a p is the arithmetic progression okay a a plus d a a plus d a plus 2 d a plus 2 d and etc up to a plus n minus 1 into d that is a general term a plus n minus 1 into d for example for example uh, 1 3 5 and 7 and etc this is uh, here it is a common difference is 3 minus 2 3 minus 1 that is 2 okay the common difference here is 2 and another example is 2 4 that is the even numbers these are the uh, odd numbers and another example is 2 4 6 which are uh, even numbers so let's find the nth term or general expression for nth term let a be the first term let a be the uh, first term and d be the common difference and l be the last term l be the last term uh, of an of an AP, a of an ap then the nth term is given by t n equal to t n equal to that is l l equal to a plus n minus 1 n minus 1 into d where d is equal to t n minus t n minus t n minus 1 okay t n minus t n minus 1 the nth term from the last is and the term from the last that is t n dash we can denote it by t n dash this send the term from the last or oh, from the last okay and the term from the last that is t n dash which is equal to l minus n minus 1 into d l minus n minus 1 into d l minus n minus 1 into d and now how to find the sum of n terms of an ap the sum of n terms of an ap n terms sorry n terms of an ap okay suppose there are n terms of a sequence whose first term is a and the common difference is b and the last term is l then the sum of n times that is sn can be denoted by sn which is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d okay multiplied by d and which is equal to which is also uh, uh, is equal to or can be found out by the equation n by 2 of a plus l that is first term plus the last term okay and now let's look at a sample problem the uh, sum of all natural numbers lying between 100 and 1000 which are multiples of 5 is which is the option so let's find it the numbers uh, which are multiples of 5 between 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 100 and 1000 will be uh, of the sequence 105 or the progression 105 110 115 and etc up to etc up to 995 right yes so the first time will be here first time a is equal to 105 105 
and the common difference these here is 5 that is 105 minus 10 minus 105 that is 10 here oh it is 5 here and so the nth term is tn which is equal to I can find uh, by the uh, different methods uh, also by finding the num n we can apply the equation yes I will show you tn is equal to a plus a plus n minus 1 of d so the last term here is no, we can find n from this the last term is 995 which is equal to 105 plus n minus 1 of 5 d is 5 here and so from this uh, we can take the 105 into left hand side left hand side oh, 995 minus 105 which is equal to uh, n minus 5 n minus 1 of 5 so 890 890 which is equal to n minus 1 of 5 right so n minus 1 is which is equal to 890 by 5 and that's equal to that's equal to 178 that's equal to 178 so we got uh, n minus 1 as Oh, sorry, n. Uh, we can. We got n minus one as one seventy eight. So n is equal to one seventy nine. We got n that is one seventy nine. So now we can find the uh, sum of n terms by different equation by n by two two a plus n minus one into d or n by two into uh, last term plus five, uh, first term. Any any anyone you can say you can use here. So I am using the first first equation. Your wish. The second equation is more is more easier. So first, first one by using first formula that is n by n by two. I am showing the uh, both of them. Okay, n by two into two uh, a plus n minus one into d. So giving the values here that is n is one seventy nine by two plus uh, two into a is one not five plus n minus n is one seventy nine. That's uh, my one seventy nine minus one of d is here 5 and so by applying by giving the values and by calculation we get uh, 210 plus 178 multiplied by 5 okay so that's it and now doing 179 by 2 of uh, 210 plus 210 plus 890 890 okay and that's equal to 179 by 2 plus uh, 2 uh, by adding we get it is 1100 so by cutting we get by 550 so the answer here is 9 98450 okay 98450 so the option is 98450 option b is the right answer you can simply apply by uh, the other equation that is n by 2 into first term plus last term that is we can simply have 179 by uh, 2 of a is the 105 and plus 995 okay you will get easily both of them are same that is 179 by 2 of 1100 so the same formula the same final we got here so the same answer is here also you can choose the uh, easier one easier one is the second one okay <coughs> And moving to the next one it is the uh, the the ratio of the sums of m and n terms of an ap is m square is to n square the ratio of the sum of m and n terms of is given here and then the ratio of the m the and the n the term m the and n the not the sum the the ratio of m the and n the term terms okay term ratio so we can do it so here let a and D be the uh, first time, first time, first time and 
common difference of the GP or of the AP, then we know <laughs> the sum the ratio of the sum of m and n terms is given. So uh, the sum of m times m times is S sum that is equal to uh, m by two m by two of two a m by two of two a plus m minus one m minus one into d like that similarly we can write sn is equal to n by 2 of n by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d n minus 1 into d okay yes so according to the equation or the uh, the relation here given here that is sm by sn equal to m m square by n square m square by n square so applying that one we get <coughs> we get that is 2a the m gets cancelled okay it's m by 2 m by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d by n by 2 into 2a plus n minus n minus 1 into d which is equal to uh, m square by m square so here the squares get cancelled to to cancel n uh, cancel so that is 2a plus n minus 1 into d which is equal to m uh, by uh, 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to m by m okay equal to m by n so uh, multi uh, cross multiplying we get 2a n n multiply by 2a 2a n 2a n minus 2a m so n, no, this n minus 1 ok n minus 1 I think there is a mistake that see here it will be m minus 1 m minus 1 so this is m minus 1 so 2a n 2a n in plus m minus m minus 1 into d n into d n which is equal to 2 a m 2 a m plus n minus 1 into d m right yes so 2 a n 2 a n minus 2 a m which is equal to n minus 1 into dm minus m minus 1 into dn okay i have taken 2 am to us towards left left side and uh, m minus 1 in d dn towards the right side okay so we got uh, 2 a as common 2 a of n minus m which is equal to uh, you can take d common here so d of n minus 1 n minus 1 into m minus m minus 1 of n so by doing this uh, m and cancels out and so we get we get d as 2a d as we cancelling here n minus 1 n minus 1 and here, here uh, the value here that is n minus 1 so we get 2a d as 2a so now we got the common difference and now the we need to find the ratio of the terms that is tm term to the tn the term so that is equal to a plus m minus 1 into d divided by a plus n minus 1 into d right yes so here uh, instead of d we can give the value that is 2a so a plus m minus 1 of 2a divided by a plus n minus 1 of 2a so multiplying this is 2a m minus 2a and here a plus 2a n minus uh, 2a so cancelling out we get as uh, 2m minus 1 
2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 by 2n minus 1 right yes so <coughs> so tm is to tn is tm is to tn is equal to 2m minus 1 is to 2n minus 1 so that's that must be the answer there must be this option yes let's look at it uh, is uh, 2m minus 1 is to 2n minus 1 this option c is the right answer okay so let's move to the next question uh, in a potato race 20 potatoes are uh, placed in a line at each intervals of 4 meter with the first potato 24 meter from the uh, starting point uh, a contestant is required to uh, bring the potatoes uh, back to the starting place on a time on at on at a time and how far would he run in bringing back all the potatoes so it is a potato race and uh, there are 20 potatoes placed in a line there may be a number of lines or the lanes where the competitors are being placed and in a line there are 20 potatoes and the first potato is 24 meter away 24 meter away uh, from the starting point this will be the starting point okay then the, it is 24 meter away from the uh, starting point and uh, then after uh, the other potatoes are placed four meter uh, intervals in the four meter intervals that is uh, like this okay and uh, in the four meter intervals displaced in the competition is here the contestant is required to being the potato uh, bring the potatoes back to the starting place on at a time okay uh, at a time he should uh, bring the uh, he should run to the uh, potatoes and uh, then bring them back to the starting point and and then uh, go back to uh, take the other one and then back to the starting point and then do the other one and then, then to the back then back to the starting point that's the uh, competition here so so the data here given here the like the uh, potatoes are placed like at 24 meter first and uh, plus 4 that is 28 28 then uh, set up to there are 20 potatoes like uh, right yes it is 20 potatoes so 28 28 so here we need to find the sum the sum of the uh, distance that is uh, from here to here it is 24 24 plus 20, uh, uh, 24 plus 28 plus and uh, and so we need to add that to the uh, previous distance and we need to take the double because here we can see that the condition must move to take the uh, move here 24 meter to take the first water and then uh, that 24 uh, more to bring it back to the starting point right so we need to double the uh, sum taken so here we know that the uh, the first time a is 24 a equal to 24 a equal to 24 and uh, the this, uh, the d the common difference is 28 minus 24 that is 4 4 then the number of times number of times is 28 uh, there are 20 uh, 20 number of potatoes so number of times n is equal to 20 okay right yes so we know the equation Sn equal to n by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d right so we can simply apply the uh, values in this formula we will get 20 by 2 20 by 2 20 by 2 of 2 into 24 a is 24 2 into 24 plus n is uh, 4 for 4 minus sorry n is 20 20 minus uh, 20 minus 1 20 minus 1 into d is 4 okay that's it and now 20 by 2 is 10 and 
that is uh, here this 48 48 and here it is 19 multiplied by 4 19 multiplied multiplied by 4 that will be equal to 76 76 so we got 10 multiplied by 124 124 so the answer is 1240 1240 there is no option because will be there will be uh, an option like this but it is uh, wrong because we have to take the double the contestant is required to bring the potatoes back to the starting place so 2sm 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 that is equal to 2 multiplied by 1240 and that is equal to that is equal to 2480 meter Hope you got this. So moving to the next question. Yes, the sum of three uh, numbers in AP is minus three and their product is eight. Then sum of squares of the numbers is dash. The sum of three numbers in AP is minus three. Sum of three numbers. So we can take the three numbers if the if it is told us a sum then we can take the three numbers as a minus b a minus b a and a plus b this is better than taking a a plus d and a plus 2d okay and let's add it so we get a minus b plus a plus a plus b equal to minus 3 and by adding we get 3a 3a minus 3 and plus 3 cancels and so get 3d as minus 3 <coughs> sorry 3a 3a as minus 3 and so a will be equal to minus 1 a will be equal to minus 1 and we got that now uh, here the product is 8 so we can uh, do that the product is okay the product is 8 so we can apply the same that is a minus d a minus d of a multiplied by a plus b a plus b okay so that will be equal to 8 sorry that will be equal to 8 and now uh, by doing we can we can apply the uh, d and minor d and the a in this uh, there is no d but we can apply the value of minus one here and before that we can you know that a plus d and a minus d we can write it as a square minus d square a square minus d square of a so that is equal to 8 and now uh, the value of a is uh, minus 1 so giving that uh, a is minus 1 minus 1 of minus 1 the whole square minus 1 the whole square minus d square that is equal to that is equal to 8 so by the calculation we get d square equal to d square equal to 9 d square equal to 9 and d is equal to plus or minus 3 d is equal to plus or minus 3 so that's it and now if d equal to 3 if d equal to plus 3 if d equal to plus 3 uh, then then the numbers are minus 4 minus 4 minus 1 and 2 okay d is equal to minus plus 3 and a equal to uh, minus 1 we already got that and if d is equal to minus 3 if d is equal to minus 3 then the numbers will be uh, 2 minus 1 and minus 4 giving the values in this a minus d a and a plus d okay so uh, now hence the, hence the sum of the numbers of <coughs> some of the squares of the numbers are uh, minus 4 the whole square minus 4 the whole square plus minus 1 the whole square plus 2 square so that will be equal to <coughs> 16 plus 1 plus 
and 4 that is equal to 21 so 21 is the answer and it is option C and now moving to the next section that is the insertion of arithmetic mean between two numbers and let a1 be okay let a1 a2 a1 a2 a3 etc up to a n with the n arithmetic means which are inserted between uh, two numbers a and b a and b and such that the uh, sequence the arithmetic progression will be like the like this that is a a1 a2 a3 etc up to a n last term that is b the uh, this is these are arithmetic means and these are inserted between a and b a and b are two numbers and they are inserted between uh, and two numbers and the arithmetic means are inserted between a and b like this okay so we got an uh, ap like this so here the total number of times will be uh, if there are n arithmetic means and uh, adding two numbers to the, that that is a and b so the total number of times will be n plus 2 n plus 2 and the common difference uh, uh, be d say and therefore therefore common difference is d so uh, b will be equal to b is the last term so that will be equal to n plus 2 n plus 2 n plus 2 at term okay n plus 2 at term and that is equal to a plus a plus n plus 2 minus 1 of d n plus 2 minus 1 of d so we can uh, write the formula for d as, uh, as uh, the term difference uh, the uh, term difference minus position difference that is b minus a b minus a divided by uh, n plus 1 we got from here also that is b is equal to a plus uh, n plus 1 into d so we get uh, d is equal to uh, b minus a by n plus 1 b minus a by n plus 1 so that so that we can uh, write the a1 that is the first arithmetic mean as a1 equal to a plus d a1 equals a plus d that is equal to uh, a plus b minus a b minus a by n plus 1 right so, so uh, giving uh, taking the lc we get v b minus a by n plus 1 n plus 1 v, uh, i mean n i'm writing again that so we get uh, n a n a plus b by n plus 1 n a plus b by n plus 1 and so a2 will be equal to a2 will be equal to a plus 2d a plus 2d and that is equal to a plus a plus 2 of b minus a d is b minus a by n plus 1 and that is equal to we get uh, by uh, taking lc we get n plus 1 of a n plus 1 of a plus 2b plus 2b by n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay and so in general we can write in general we can write a r equal to a r equal to a plus r into r into b minus a b minus a by n plus 1 b minus a by n plus 1 a r a r is the rth uh, arithmetic mean okay R. and so we get by n minus r plus 1 of a plus rb divided by the whole divided by n plus 1 where uh, r can have the values 1 2 etc n anything any natural number n okay so that means if uh, for example if uh, 
if r equal to 1 if r equal to 1 and n equal to 1 then a1 then a1 will be equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1 of a plus 1 of b all divided by 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 that's equal to that is a1 equal to a plus a plus b by 2 that is a mean this will be mean okay that's it so let's move, let's talk about the arithmetic mean now arithmetic mean arithmetic mean Arithmetic mean if we insert one arithmetic mean between two numbers a and b two numbers a and b then That arithmetic mean will be equal to a arithmetic mean will be equal to Okay, I can denote by a which will be equal to a plus b by 2 if we insert one arithmetic mean uh, That is a, a a between a a and b then the arithmetic mean will be equal to a plus b by 2 Okay, and the uh, sum of n arithmetic means between a and b is n times the arithmetic mean of a and b. Okay, the sum now uh, some uh, properties or nodes to be taken that are the sum of n arithmetic means between a and b is n times the uh, arithmetic mean of a and b. That is, I can write that is if. if that is a1 i a1 plus a2 plus etc up to a n will be equal to n times a plus b by 2 okay that is n n a or n a m and the arithmetic mean of n post in numbers a1 a2 a1 a2 a1 a2 a3 etc up to a n is a m equal to a m equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus etc up to a n divided by the number that is n so let's move for a problem now uh, if we insert five numbers between 8 and 26 such that the resulting sequence is an ap then the resulting sequence is uh, dash so we need to find that and uh, let five numbers or the five uh, uh, means that is a a1 that will be a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 and then the sequence will be 8 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and the last one that is the 26 26 so now the we need to find the a1 a2 and a3 so first we know that the general term tn will be equal to a plus n minus 1 of d n minus 1 of b and that's uh, we can we have the value tn that is the last term that's 26 and 26 will be equal to the first term is 8 here and uh, plus we don't know uh, we know the n n is there uh, the 5 plus 2 that is 7 so 7 minus 1 of the d d we know we don't know and we need to find that so we have we got 26 minus 8 which is equal to uh, 7 minus 1 that is 6 and 6 of d is that is 6d and so 18 will be equal to 6d and d is equal to d is equal to 18 by 6 18 by 6 and that's equal to 3 so we got d now and now we can write a1 as a1 equal to uh, a plus d and a plus d that is a, a is 8 8 plus 3 that is 11 8 plus 3 that is 11 and a2 is equal to a plus 2d and like that uh, a3 will be equal to a plus 3d a plus 3d and a, 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 a4 will be equal to a plus 4d 4d and a5 will be equal to a plus a plus 5d okay so we got uh, we get uh, a plus 2d that is 2 of 3 that is 6 and 6 plus 8 that is 14 
14 and now a plus 3d that is 3 uh, 8 plus 9 that is equal to 17 and a plus 4d that is 4 times 3 that is 12 12 plus 8 that is 20 and like that we get uh, 5 3 so 15 15 plus 8 that is equal to 23 and now we got the sequence that is uh, 11 14 is 8 11 14 in the case of in the in the place of a1 that is 11 in the place of a2 that is 14 and uh, 17 and 20 and uh, and 23 so this is the sequence uh, which one of the option matches with it 8, 11, 14, 70, 20, 23, 23, 26. So I think the option option B is the right answer. Option B is the right answer. So that's it. Now moving to the next section. This words word problems based on arithmetic progression. Word problem problems are directly asked in consecutive years of uh, J main that is two, in 2011-2010 and uh, to solve such types of uh, problems problem uh, following uh, steps that I can show you that is step one step one step one step one uh, firstly uh, write all the given information in order write all the information given order in the, in, a, in a order and uh, step 2 is that step 2 given order in order okay write in order and now the step 2 is using the formula sum of an ap that is sn equal to sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 of d using the formula this formula we, we need to use this formula and the step 3 is use another condition if it is given use another condition if another condition if it is given and the fourth step is that simplify the relations and get the result okay simplify the relations and get the result that's it so let's uh, take one problem as an example so a man arranges to pay off a debt of uh, rupees 3600 3, by 40 annual installments which are in AP. When 30 of the installments are paid, he dies leaving one third of the debt unpaid. Find the eighth installment. So <laughs> that's painful. But we have to find the answer for this question now. Right? So let's follow the steps. This is step one is uh, firstly we write all the given information in order. The given information is uh, the sum that is S equal to 3600. 3600. The total amount we have to pay. That is S at the sum. And the number, number of installments is 40. 40. And let the A and D be the First, uh, first time and common difference of an AP. Okay, this will be the A and B. And step two, step two, the first step is over here. And step two, what was that? Using the formula, using that formula, yes, and equal to n by two into uh, n by two into two a plus and minus one into b. So giving the values, we get. Uh, in SN is that is 3600 and that is equal to N is 40 by 2 40 by 2 of 2A plus 40 minus 1 of B so that's it so simplifying we get um, we get that is one, 180 is equal to 2A plus 39D okay 39D so we got that by getting we get 20 and we got, we got 180 okay and the step three is that step three and uh, let it let this be the equation number one okay and now step three is uh, now we write another given condition it is after here after uh, when 30 of the instruments are paid he dies leaving the one third of the debt unpaid. Okay, uh, so it is after 30 instruments, one third of the debt is unpaid. After 
30 installments one third of the uh, depth is unpaid that is uh, therefore we get we get 3600 divided by 3 that is equal to 1200 is unpaid and 2400 is paid 2400 is paid okay so that's it and the uh, step 4 is again using the formula of the sum of an AP okay so uh, step 4 I have told that simplify the relations and get the uh, result so we, here we have to use the formula again that is SN equal to step 4 here is SN equal to N by 2 of uh, 2A plus N minus 1 into D minus 1 into D and that's equal to that is uh, here the SN is 2400, right? Uh, 2400 of 30 by 2. 30 by 2 of 2A plus 30. 30 minus D. 30 minus 1 of D. We are making one more equation to solve and get the uh, B and A. So, what is equal to? So that's it. And now, uh, by doing calculation, we get we get one sixty one sixty equal to two a plus twenty uh, nine nine d. Okay. And now solving equations one. Let this be the equation two. And solving the equation one, we got here. That is. 180 equal to a plus 39d and here 160 equal to a plus 29d so we get uh, by solving that we get that is a equal to 51 and d equal to 2 a equal to 51 and d equal to 2 so the uh, last step is that find the uh, when the required result the required result is to find the 8th installment that is 8 t8 will be equal to t8 will be equal to a plus 8 minus 1 of b 8 minus 1 of b that is equal to a is here we got that 51 and plus 7 multiplied by the d is 2 so we get 51 plus 51 plus 14 that is equal to uh, it is 65 it paid in the 8 installment so this was the uh answer so let's look at the options yes there's option that is 65 option a is the right answer now moving to the next section is the geometric progression a sequence of non-zero numbers is called a geometry progression if the ratio of a term and the term preceding to it is always a constant quantity. And this constant factor is called the uh, common ratio of the GP. Or the a geometry progression is a sequence of numbers whose first term is a non-zero and each of the term is obtained by multiplying its just preceding term by a constant quantity and this constant quantity is called the common ratio of the GP in other words we can write it as a1 plus if a1 a2 a3 and as it up to a n are in JP then a2 by a1 a2 by a1 will be equal to a3 by a2 a3 by a2 that is equal to that will be equal to uh, it will uh, follow like that and generally we can write a n by a n minus 1 a n by a n minus 1 that is equal to the r r okay r is known as the common ratio of gp if a, if a is the first term and r is the common ratio then gp can be written as a a r a r square etc up to the general term that is a r raised to n minus 1 and a cannot be equal to 0 for example 2 4 uh, 6 8 is an example for uh, the 6 uh, 2 4 2 4 8 16 okay 8 16 2 4 8 16 is an example for this GP 
and now let's find the nth term of uh, the gp that is the general term let a be the uh, first term and r be the common ratio and l be the last term of a gp uh, then the nth term is given by tn equal to tn equal to l that is equal to uh, a r raised to n minus 1 where r equal to tn by tn minus 1 okay so the nth term of the uh, nth term of the nth term from the last term that is it will be equal to tn dash equal to l by r raised to n minus 1 l by r raised to n minus 1 okay so that's it and now we need to find the sum of n times of a gp also sum of n times sum of n times of a n times of a of a gp suppose there are n times of a sequence whose first term is a and common ratio is r and last term is l then the sum of n times is given by s equal to s equal to this conditional and this s is equal to uh, a of r raised to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 if r is greater than 1 r is greater than 1 and a of 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r if r is less than 1 and uh, not defined not defined when r is equal to 1 that's it if uh, terms are infinite then the sum of gp is if the uh, the terms are infinite sum of infinite that is, uh, that is equal to uh, s infinite equal to a by 1 minus r a by 1 minus r when r is modulus of r is less than 1 okay and if the term of a gp is positive that is if a is greater than 0 then uh, gp is increasing and if r is greater than 1 and decreasing uh, if 0 is less than r less than 1 and if a is less than 0 if a is less than 0 then gp is increasing if uh, 0 is less than r less than 1 and decreasing if r is greater than 1 okay hope you got that that is if the uh, the first term is first term of the uh, gp is positive that is if a is greater than 0 if a is greater than 0 if a is greater than 0 then gp is increasing if r is greater than 1 and decreasing if is increasing if increasing uh, otherwise i can show like this increasing if r is greater than 1 and decreasing if 0 is less than r less than 1 okay decreasing and if r a is less than 0 that is negative then gp is increasing gp is increasing if uh, 0 is less than r is less than 1 and decreasing and decreasing if r is greater than 1 just opposite to the other so that is it and if a b c d are in gp then they are also they are also they are also in continued proportion that is a by b equal to b by c equal to c by d okay that's equal to uh, 1 by r okay 1 by r say and if the first term of a gp of n times is a and last term is l then the product of all the terms of the gp is a l raised to n by 2 the product of all the terms of the gp that will be equal to a l the whole raised to n by 2 and if a b c are a b c are in a p as well as in gp then a equal to 
b equal to c okay if uh, a b c is a p as well as g p then a equal to b equal to c now uh, i have a problem problem solving trick for uh, such questions as in j e and that is value of recurring decimal value of recurring decimal value of recurring decimal uh, a number is of the form a, a dot a dot b b b b etc is recurring is recurring decimal is recurring decimal okay such a type of decimal is called a recurring decimal uh, it is recurring right uh, look at this b b b b b and that is called decimal and for example uh, suppose any general terms of the uh, forms like 0 dot x uh, and uh, some word that is x having uh, m times or n times n times and the y which is having m times m times okay m times and here x is a non recurring part and y is a recurring part then the resultant will be the resultant will be equal to x y minus y x y minus uh, x y minus x the whole divided by 10 raised to m plus n 10 raised to m plus n minus 10 raised to n that's it and now let's move for a question the number of bacteria in a certain culture doubles every uh, every hour if there was uh, there are 30 bacteria present in the culture originally then number of bacteria will be present at the end of second uh, second hour fourth hour and nth hour will be dash so uh, the number of bacteria present in the culture from a gp whose first term is a equal to 30 a equal to 30 and the common ratio will be 2 times that is uh, r equal to 2 and bacteria present after its second hour that is a r raised to 2 a r raised to n minus 1 is the uh, a raised to n minus 1 is the general term so here bacteria present after the second hour that will be equal to okay that is the, it will be equal to n n there will be 3 so a r square because it is the end of the second hour that is uh, approaching the third so a r oh, sorry a r square and um, that's equal to a is 30 and r is 2 2 square so 30 multiplied by 4 that is 120 okay and now the bacteria present after fourth hour after fourth hour will be equal to a r raised to 4 a r raised to 4 as you say after at the end of the fourth hour that is 5 hour so a r raised to n minus 5 minus 1 that is 4 a r raised to 4 and that is equal to 30 multiplied by 2 raised to 4 and that will be equal to 30 of 16 and that's equal to 480 so we got that and the bacteria present after n the word that is a r raised to n a r raised to n it's equal to 30 of 2 raised to n and that's that's it so let's look at the options uh, that is 120 480 and this one so 120 480 and so option c is the right answer yes so let's look at the second problem uh, next problem that is some of the series uh, 5 plus 55 plus uh, 555 plus up to n times is dash so here we need to use a different start strategy as uh, that is the gp is 5 plus or the series is 5 plus 50 plus 55 plus 555 plus etc up to n times up to n times 
and taking 5 out so we get 5 of 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus etc up to uh, n times n times and and one more thing i am doing that is multiplying and uh, multiplying numerator and denominator with the name with the name multiplying the numerator and denominator by nine that's by uh, multiplying the numerator we get a nine of one that is nine nine and nine of eleven that is ninety nine and like that and divided by nine that is we can take as common common and that is we get five by nine of nine plus ninety nine plus nine 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 such type of questions we can uh, always use this strategy for solving that and uh etc up to n times and we can now apply another thing that is 5 by 9 of uh, 99 can be written as 9 10 minus 9 and uh, plus 99 can be written as 100 minus 1 and like that uh, plus uh, 1000 minus 1 and up to n times okay up to n times that's it and now uh, we can write 5 by 9 of uh, 10 plus 100 plus uh, 1000 plus n times in the first part that is 10 plus 100 plus uh, 1000 plus etc up to n times n times first and uh, the whole minus minus 1 plus 1 plus etc up to n times okay that's it so that is equal to 5 by 9 oh, sorry 5 by 9 of here uh, some of this will be 10 10 of this is, this is a, a gp right so gp having the first name a and the uh, common ratio is 100 by 10 that is equal to 10 and so we, we know the uh, equations for some having the r than one that is uh, uh, a of r raised to n minus 1 by r minus 1 so applying that here we get 10 of 10 raised to n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 okay i hope you got that and uh, the 1 plus 1 plus n, n times that means n so uh, minus n and that's equal to we got uh, 5 by 9 of 9 here 10 minus 1 is 9 so 5 by 81 5 by 81 of uh, 10 raised to 10 raised to 1 and 10 raised to n minus 1 so uh, we get 10 raised to 10 raised to 1 and 10 raised to n that is 10 raised to n plus 1 10 raised to n plus 1 and 10 raised to 1 of minus 1 that is minus 10 minus 10 here it is n plus 1 n plus 1 10 minus uh, the that is the uh, this the uh, lc that is 9 minus 9 n so this is the answer we got let's look at the option and option mm, this option I think uh, is option B is the right answer option B is the right answer so we got that and now moving to the next question and um, if a b c r p h q -th, and r -th terms of a gp then q minus r log a plus r minus p log r minus p log b plus p minus q log c is equal to dash looks complicated but it is simple i think if you apply the properties of log and such type of things let's look at question here let a and r be the uh, common uh, the first time and common ratio of the gp so then a equal to a r raised to n minus one a r raised to P minus 1 I can write for the case of P P at 10 so a r is to P minus 1 for the P at 10 so I can write uh, by applying the log here 
log by applying log in the left uh, lhs and the right uh, rhs so we get log a log a equal to we can take the p minus 1 down and it is a uh, a of r raised to p minus 1 so log a b is log a plus log, e, log b so log a plus p minus 1 of log r right yes simply i can uh, write that by applying the properties and uh, second uh, we can the uh, the the q then that's b will be equal to a r raised to q minus 1 and uh, the r then that's you will see uh, also r a r raised to uh, r minus 1 right so uh, in the same way i am applying the log so log b will be equal to uh, log a plus uh, q minus 1 of uh, log r log r that will be the second equation and the third one that is log c log c will be equal to log a plus r minus 1 of log r log r that will be the third equation now and <coughs> now uh, the in the question we have to find the q minus r of log a plus uh, this one so applying that that is q minus r of log a and r minus p of the log p q minus r uh, of log a log a uh, plus r minus p of uh, log b of log b and plus p minus q of log c log c that's it and that's that will be equal to q minus r and we got the log a as uh, this one that is log a plus p minus 1 of log r uh, so applying that here we get q minus r of log a plus p minus 1 p minus 1 of uh, log r log r and plus that one plus okay that one plus uh, r minus p r minus p of log a log a plus q minus 1 of log r log r and that in addition p minus q of p minus q of log a log a plus r minus 1 of log r okay this is the question and we got log a and log b here uh, we, uh, we are applying the equation 1 in the case of log a and equation 2 in the case of log b and like that we applied everything and we got this one now and simplifying that we are taking uh, the log a is common we get log a of log a of q minus r plus r minus p plus uh, p minus q <laughs> and taking the log r and taking the log r log r as common we got uh, p of q minus r q minus r plus q of r minus p plus r of p minus q uh, minus minus q minus r minus r minus r minus p minus p minus q right yes so after applying all this we get uh, that is here it will be zero right it will be zero and log a of zero plus here also it will be uh, zero and we got now log log r of zero that's equal to zero so zero is the answer let's look at the options option option d is the right answer now so that's it and moving to the next question 
Yes, the three numbers form an increasing GP. If the middle number is doubled, then new numbers are in AP. And the common ratio of the GP is which we have to find that. And let the three numbers in the GP be in the case of GP, we take the numbers as A by R, A, A, A by R, A and A R. Okay. A by R, A and A R. And also the numbers form an increasing GP. So R is greater than 1. Right. And now A by R, the middle, taking the uh, middle number is double. So a by r 2a and a r in a p this will, this will be in a j uh, in a p in a p and this one will be in the g p right yes so <coughs> so we can uh, write as 4a will be equal to 4a that is by the middle term 4a will be equal to a by r plus a r so middle term that is the between two numbers so that is we know that here 2a is equal to a by r plus a r divided by 2 so we got a by r plus a r equal to 2 of 2a that is 4a it's the middle number uh, if a b and c then b equal to a plus uh, C by 2. Okay, we applied that here. And so, uh, taking the LC and uh, multiple also multiplying, we got R square, we got a second degree equation R square minus 4 R plus 1 equal to 0. So, uh, solving this, we get R as 2 plus root 3. Okay, and that is a R uh, and also R equal to R equal to 2 minus root 3 which is not applicable so uh, because uh, that must be greater than 1 right I mean uh, yes so um, here uh, r equal to 2 plus root 3 so uh, let's look at the options 2 plus root 3 so option b is right answer option b is the right answer and the next problem uh, that is the uh, uh, if ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is divisible by ax square plus c, then a, b, c, and d are in which one? a, p, g, p, or h, p. h, p is the harmonic progression which we are going to study later. And <coughs> but we have to confirm since ax cube bx square plus cx plus d is divisible by ax square plus c, it's in, it's in question. Therefore, when ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is divided by ax square plus d, ax plus x square plus c, then the remainder is zero. The remainder must be zero if if it is divisible by that number or that term. Then that means by dividing we get d minus bc by a. That is equal to so that must be equal to 0 and so we got uh, bc by a equal to d and therefore bc will be equal to bc will be equal to ad and there from from that we can take the a down and c down so b by a equal to uh, c by d now i think you got the result oh, i mean d by c right d by c i think you got the answer so that's having a common ratio so that's the uh, gp okay so answer is gp here and i hope uh, you know to divide the ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d by ax square otherwise I'll, I'll, uh, let you put a comment in the comment box i will make a video for that <laughs> i have no time that's because i am uh, leaving from that and now the next topic insertion of geometric mean between two numbers insertion of uh, geometry mean between two numbers let g1 g2 g3 etc up to gn uh, be the n geometry means and are inserted between two numbers a and b 
that uh, that forms like a g1 g2 uh, g3 up uh, set up to gn and b so here the total number of times is like the uh, is uh, same as that of the we have done in the case of insertion of uh, arithmetic mean it is n plus 2 n plus 2 and the common difference the common ratio b r so b be the uh, n plus 2 at the term will be the n plus 2 or the last term n plus 2 at the term that will be equal to a r is to n plus 2 minus 1 right yes so r equivalent from this uh, we can find r as b by a b by a b by a the wall raised to uh, yes 1 by n plus 1 when 1 by n plus 1 and so g1 will be equal to a r that is equal to a of b by a of 1 by 1 plus uh, n plus 1 okay and g2 will be also like that that is a r is to 2 that is equal to a of b by a uh, of uh, 2 by 2 by n plus 1 and in general i can write g k g k let it be k the term and a of b by a of uh, k by k by n plus 1 b by of k by n plus 1 for k equal to 1 2 3 etc and up to that and uh, if k equal to 1 and it i am playing k equal to 1 and n equal to 1 then we get g1 equal to a of b by a uh, the whole raised to 1 by 1 plus 1 that is equal to a of b by a the whole raised to 1 by 2 and then that's equal to root of a b root of a b that will be the uh, mean with geometry mean and the geometry mean let's look at the geometry mean if we insert one geometry mean between two numbers a and b then the geometry mean will be equal to that is gm will be equal to root of a b we got from here root of g b and the uh, some properties we have to look at look at here is that the product of n geometry means between a and b is equal to the n the power of the geometry mean of a and b uh, in the in the case of insertion of arithmetic mean we uh, told that this is n times the uh, mean of arithmetic mean of two numbers so here it is n the power the power raises to n so g1 of g2 of etc up to gn will be equal to a b the wall raised to one uh, wall raised to one by two that is root to a b and the uh, the power is raised to n so we can write n by two n by 2 okay yeah, this is a b the whole raised to n by 2 uh, otherwise you can uh, say that this g raised to n or gm raised to n and the product of n geometry means between a and 1 by a is 1 a and 1 by a is 1 and the geometry mean of n positive numbers a1 a2 a3 etc n is uh, is a1 of a2 of a3 of s up to a n the wall raised to 1 by <coughs> and if a and g be the uh, arithmetic mean and geometry mean between two positive numbers then the numbers are a plus or minus root of a square minus b square okay then if if a and g are respectively a m and g m between two positive numbers a and b then the quadratic equation having a and b has its root is x square minus 2 a x plus g square that is equal to 0 okay now let's look at a problem related to this uh, yes if we ins insert two numbers between 3 and 81 so that the resulting sequence is gp then the numbers are which one of them so let the two numbers be a and b then uh, we can write it is a gp as 3 uh, 3 a b and 81 so n the term is tn equal to t uh, or ar is to n minus 1 and that is tn is 81 and is equal to first term is 3 and 3 r is to n is 4 4 minus 1 
So R cube will be equal to 81 by 3 that is equal to 27 and now uh, we can write R cube as 23 uh, uh, cube right right yes so R equal to 3 we got R equal to 3 and now we have to find the uh, numbers A and B so we got R equal to R equal to 3 so we can find the A A is the first term that is A R A R here there is a 3 of 3 will be equal to will be equal to 9 and B is R A R square B is A R square that is equal to 3 of 3 square will be equal to 27 so let's look at option that is 9 and 27 and 9 and 27 that is a uh, option a, a is the right answer option a is the right answer so let's meet up in the next part of the video <laughs> and to know more about the cloud vendor visit our website you can google by taping cloud vendor gaurish site appears as the uh, first result and or simply search cloud vendor and you will get the site as, uh, as the third result and also you can follow us on different social media platforms and you can follow us on instagram and uh, you can follow on whatsapp i have created a whatsapp group for discussions on different doubts you have and the links are given in the description box also uh, a telegram group for discussion and the same purpose and uh, a channel is also formed for giving off your uh, learning steps and all the links are given in the description box you can check it later you can also ask your doubts as comments in youtube and if you want more videos which would be uploaded in the coming days please subscribe our channel and press that bell icon for getting notifications on time hope you guys understood the topic thanks for watching my video always be free to ask questions subscribe to my channel for more videos if you like this video share it with your friends see you guys